Hello, my name is Lowell Rose, and I'm a master's student at the University of Toronto in the Autonomous Systems and Biomechatronics Lab, directed by Dr. Golden Ajat. I'll be presenting our paper titled, A Framework for Mapping and Controlling Exoskeleton Gate Patterns in Both Simulation and Real World. Stroke is a leading cause of disability, with about 726,000 Canadians expected to have a stroke by 2038. Persons post-stroke often experience reduced motor control on one side of their body and therefore develop atypical and compensatory motor behavior that affects their gait pattern. Restoring function and improving motor performance is a key goal of post-stroke rehabilitation. Early studies have found that exoskeletons are effective tools for overground gait training since they provide an opportunity for increased practice of more typical movement patterns and therefore can improve mobility and function. The majority of exoskeleton devices available for rehab purposes contain only an actuated hip and knee joint. However, an active ankle joint is important to address foot drop and propulsion issues. To validate appropriate exoskeleton gait patterns and control schemes, and ensure patient safety and comfort, it is vital to generate models of exoskeletons in simulation prior to implementation on a physical device. A variety of software packages have been used to achieve this but often have drawbacks such as limited hardware control capabilities and potential performance issues. New software tools are often employed to generate or transfer simulated model to hardware. To address these limitations, we have developed a novel control architecture that allows for both the simulation and control of an exoskeleton through a centralized software structure, which avoids the need for software duplication and facilitates the ease in prototyping, validating, and testing of gate patterns. Our control architecture integrates a software need for exoskeleton simulation and hardware implementation into a unified framework. We use the Robo Operating System, ROS, with a gazebo simulation platform to achieve this. Our architecture allows for a gait pattern to be controlled, adjusted, and verified by physiotherapists on the fly during gait rehabilitation sessions, both in simulation and on an exoskeleton. The main advantages of our method are a centralized single software structure for customizing and controlling gait patterns, and that the hardware control is not reliant on the execution of the simulation, which avoids potential harmful exoskeleton movements that can result from computational interruptions. Shown here is an overview of our proposed control architecture. The central module is the joint publisher node, which contains the desired gait pattern to be controlled. The gait pattern is represented by a series of joint angles for the hip, knee, and ankle joints, and is obtained from an OpenSim gait model. The gate pattern is loaded into the joint publisher node and a ROS topic for each joint is established, publishing joint position commands to the network, either for the simulation or the exoskeleton hardware. The simulated exoskeleton has three linkages for each leg, with hip, knee, and ankle actuators. The ROS control package establishes a PID controller for each joint and also subscribes to the joint position ROS topics to simulate the desired gate pattern. For control on a physical exoskeleton, a communication interface between ROS and the onboard exoskeleton microcontroller is required. This was established using a BeagleBone Black development board and a CAN bus network. The BeagleBone Black board receives the joint position commands from the joint publisher node and translates them into CAN frames to be sent to the control board on the exoskeleton. The device we use for the physical exoskeleton control is the H2 exoskeleton from Technade which contains active hip, knee, and ankle joints, and can deploy a fully actuated gait pattern through the use of brushless DC motors paired to harmonic drive gearboxes. The onboard microcontroller receives the CAN messages from the communication interface and sends them to all joints. It also establishes a PID controller for each joint to regulate the joint position control. To validate our approach, we conducted experiments with a healthy subject where first the gait pattern obtained from OpenSim was tested in simulation. The same pattern was then tested on the exoskeleton. The gait pattern was then altered on the fly to a physiotherapist provided gait pattern. Our results show that the simulated and physical exoskeleton were able to follow the desired gait pattern both from the OpenSim model and the updated physiotherapist provided gait pattern. 
In conclusion, we developed a novel centralized control architecture for both the simulation and physical hardware control of a lower body exoskeleton, where a personalized gate pattern can be customized and deployed through a single software structure. Our method allows for verifying that a desired gate pattern is safe and appropriate from simulation before being deployed on an exoskeleton, and allows for on-the-fly modifications of a gate pattern during rehabilitation. This was validated by our experiments. In a clinical session, this will optimize time spent on rehabilitation. Thank you.